Hi there, everyone. I just installed the April Air uh, 700 series humidifier, whole house humidifier. And I just want to share a couple learnings uh, that I didn't find uh, very easily on online. I know that April Air has a great tutorial of how to install the humidifier, but when it comes to the actual wiring and specifically the transformer, um, there are some helpful videos out there, but I just wanted to add uh, another one just to be another resource for folks. Um, <clears throat> when it comes to wiring up, it's pretty self-explanatory. I mean, from the uh, just gist of how you're running from the uh, terminal strip to your furnace and how that plays in with your uh, thermostat in your house, that's all fairly simple and straightforward. Um, the outdoor temperature sensor, I ran mine through uh, the uh, uh, copper line and uh, cable work that's going out to the AC condenser outside and I followed the uh, recommendations in the manual for that where they wanted it to be above the expected snow line so I'm in Minnesota so we get some snow and they wanted it to be three feet away from any exhaust vents so my dryer comes out the wall there I just made sure I was three feet away from that on the wall so I fed that up and over and down and into the controller. So that was fairly straightforward. But then again, we get we get this wired in and uh, the question I was trying to figure out to answer was, how do I wire in the transformer? Because on the schematics here, they don't really, they show you how to connect the transformer with low voltage wire to the terminal strip, but they don't, uh, explain how to wire it in. So I have mine set on the right side of the furnace here. Uh, it's not an ideal location. I'm not too happy with it, but for my unit, that was the only place I could really put it. So I'm gonna take the cover panels off here and show you what we got going on. So I have seen some people that will wire the transformer straight into either a their furnace on off switch or an outlet um, that's one option but I wanted to set mine up with the EAC so that the blower motor whenever that kicks on will kick on the humidifier too and call for humidity uh, so that I don't necessarily have to be limited to just when the heat runs so uh, because I wanted that option to have humidity flow throughout the house uh, when we just have the fan on or to have the humidistat uh, trigger the humidifier in the blower fan without necessarily calling for heat, I had to hook the transformer up to the EAC. And so what I did here is there's a punch out on this side of the furnace. I wanted to go over on the left side, but I had my drain hose coming down from the uh, 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 air conditioning coils inside and also from the humidifier. So I didn't want to put it here where it'd be close to water. So I knocked it out on the right side. And um, I had to find a neutral wire and uh, I connected the white neutral to some neutral wires in here. Uh, I just split the wire, the white neutral wire coming from the power box. I followed that line around, down. I found the black and white lines for the power coming into the furnace. And that was the uh, white neutral line that I spliced and put one of the transformer leads into. So you can see that right there coming out. And then the black line I put into, this will be hard to see, but I put it in the EAC one slot right here. And what I've read and what I'm told is that by doing it this way and not putting the transformer just into a straight power supply from an outlet or a light switch is that this will allow the humidifier to trigger the blower fan to turn on to just push humid air through the house without having to turn the heat on which in minnesota in the drier months of january and february uh, is something that i'm interested in because we don't always run the heat all day long um so yeah now i just want to give a helpful video hopefully it's helpful for some folks but um there's other videos out there of connecting the uh, wires to the terminal inside on your board. That's fairly straightforward. The instructions that come with April Air are pretty easy to follow. 
but again, I had issues finding any information on the terminal and there was a couple helpful videos uh, explaining how, or for the transformer that is, uh, and there was a couple videos showing how to go ahead and wire that, which was very, very helpful. So um, yeah, hopefully this helps somebody else out and saves them some time in researching, but that's what I did. Again, black wire to the EAC on the board and the white, just plugged it in to the white line coming from the power box up top. Thanks everybody.